Welcome to our class. Today I would like us to look at allocation and apportionment of overheads. Allocation and apportionment of overheads. For today's lesson, I would like us to look at the definition of overheads and the classification of overheads. Okay, let us start with the definition. An overhead, an overhead is the total cost, is the total cost of indirect materials, indirect labor, and indirect expenses. The total cost of indirect materials, indirect labor, and indirect expenses. So when you add indirect labor, indirect materials, and indirect expenses, what you get, the total which you get, we call them overheads. So when we say indirect cost, we mean those costs which cannot be identified to the production of specific of some specific goods. The cost which you cannot identify for the production of specific goods. The cost which cannot you cannot account for for the production of some specific goods. We call them indirect cost the cost which you are not able to explain or to, uh, to get from specific or to incur for only a specific production or production output. So these overheads are incurred for the activities as a whole in, in a case of department or an organization. So it is incurred for the whole organization or department. So you cannot say that this, this cost was incurred because of producing a particular product. It is for the whole organization or the whole department. Let us look at the classifications. Classifications. In most cases, overheads are classified into three. They are classified into three. We have production overheads administration overheads and we have selling and distribution overheads. So the production overheads includes those overheads which are required in the production department. They include direct materials, we have indirect wages, we have factory rent and rates, we also have depreciation of factory plant and machinery and the other indirect expenses which the expenses which are required in the production department, meaning when we are converting raw materials to finished goods, the manufacturing department. We call them production overheads. Then we have administration overheads. Administration overheads, these are the expenses which are incurred in the office while you are taking or while you are administering the, the activities of an organization. In most cases, they are incurred in the office. All the expenses which are incurred in the office. They include office salaries and wages, the salaries which are paid to the office workers. They are classified under administra administration overheads. We have the office rent, depreciation of office equipment or machinery, and also you can have any other office any other office expense like stationery, printing, postage, all the expenses which we incur in the office, even traveling, transport, all those are under administrative or administration overheads. Then we have selling and distribution overheads. Selling and distribution overheads, these are the overheads which are used or the, the, the overheads which are incurred when you are you are taking the materials or the finished goods to the customer when you want to take the goods to the customer so any expense which you incur when you are taking the goods to the market we call them selling and distribution expenses mostly they include they include advertisement Advertisement, also you can call it marketing expenses, the marketing expenses. Also we have the salaries and wages which are paid to the salespeople, 
those people are taking the wood to the market, the salaries which they, they see are classified under selling and distribution overheads. Then also we have the delivery van expenses. Delivery van expenses. The lorries with the which carry the, the material, the wood to the market. The, maybe you can buy fuel for the vehicle or the fan, the delivery van or the lorry. That one is classified under selling and distribution. And if there is any depreciation of the delivery van, it's also classified under selling and distribution of heads. Also, we have the other sundry, other sundry selling and distribution expenses, including the promotions. The promotions are under selling and distribution expenses. Any commission which you give, any discount which you allow to the you allow to the customers, we classify it under selling and distribution overhead. Also, even if you classify them under production, uh, overheads, administration, or selling and distribution, they can be further classified into three. We can classify them under as fixed overheads or same fixed, or we can also classify them under variable. We have those overheads which remain the same. Overheads which remain the same at various levels of output. Even if you produce zero output, even if there's no production which has been made, even if you produce more than the previous time, that overhead does not change. So those overheads which does not change, which does not change at any level of production, we call them fixed overheads. In most cases, they include the, the factory rent and rates. Rent you pay even if you have not produced. Even if you have closed the factory, you must pay rent and rates. So rent and rates are classified under fixed overheads. Even if it is a factory rent, office rent, all of them, they are classified under fixed overheads. Then we have semi-fixed overheads. We can also call them semi-variable, but they are semi-fixed, meaning these overheads will, retain, will remain the same up to a particular level of production or of output. Then beyond that level, it will, it will start falling or it will increase as the level of production increases. So those overheads which remain the same at various levels of output, and beyond those levels, they may increase by a specific amount, we call them semi-variable or semi-fixed overheads. The main example of semi-fixed overhead is the supervision cost. Remember, supervision means you are not supposed to supervise more than the number which you have been given. But if you are given additional work to supervise, you are supposed to be paid another amount. So it will be the same, supervision cost will be the same until about a specific level which is agreed. Then beyond that level, there is an increase of payment. Okay, so supervision or supervision cost is under same fixed overhead. Then we have the variable overheads. The variable overheads these are the overheads which increase with the increase in production and decrease with the decrease in production. That overhead which increases with the increase of production and reduces with the decrease of production. We call them variable. So they change according to the level of production. Variable overheads change according to the level of production. In most cases, the main example of those is the indirect materials. Indirect materials and indirect labor might change. When you, you want to produce more, you need more raw materials. So the cost of raw materials will increase because the production is going to increase. Then if you are going to reduce the level of production, then the overhead 
the variable of ID will decrease. When you, you increase production, you need more people. That's why we say indirect labor is variable. When there is the reduction in production, also you reduce the labor force. Indirect labor includes those people who are working for, for cash. We call them cash flows, temporal employees. The amount we they are paid, we call it indirect labor. Direct labor is the amount which is paid to the permanent employees. In most cases, factory workers. The factory workers or um, uh, machine operators. We, we give them direct labor. We give them direct wages. So these direct wages, they are classified under direct wages that don't change. They are, they are going to be under the fixed overheads and they are under production overheads. Okay, so these overheads are supposed to be allocated to various departments. That's why I would like us, I would like us to look at another topic for the next lesson. We are going to look at the overhead allotment and the basis of apportionment.